the NFL top five, bottom five for week number thirteen. We're gonna we're gonna jump into it from thirty two up to twenty eight, and then we'll do one through five because I think we I think we have our number one. I think the most uh, uh, interesting thing will be towards the end of the top five. Okay. Uh, it's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. Go over to tunicatravel dot com to get more information and. As always, the show is brought to you by winningcureseverything.com. That is our website. It's got everything you need, picks, previews, YouTubes, uh, social media, podcasts, all of our stuff, everything about us, it is over there. So go check that bad boy out, winningcureseverything.com. Chris, let's fire this thing off. Uh, let's jump into number 32. Uh, I've got a new one. All right. I changed it up. I'm not changing. I know they put up 33 points against a team that's in our top five. I'm not even worried about that. It wasn't even necessarily what the Raiders did. The Raiders are... DFL. My, my, so I've got the Raiders at uh, 31. Okay. I've got the 49ers at 32. I think you had the 49ers at 32 last week. No, I had the. Oh, I may have. I was about, when you maybe said you had a okay, new so one, it's, I was, maybe it's I was not actually a new one. very curious. Uh, very no, it's curious. it's still the 49ers. Okay. They, are, uh, they are hot garbage right no, now. No, they're pretty bad. They're they are god awful right now. They are terrible. Not denying that. Um, When you go to Tampa Bay and you only put up, what was it, nine points? That's right. Whew. I think me and you and some buddies could put up nine points on Tampa Bay right now. I need a lot of help, but maybe maybe you and some other folks. <laughs> we do have some pretty athletic friends. Yes, we do. Yes, so. we do. Some soccer players. Yeah, and, we got some. We got some dudes. Know, right. We got some dudes. We, we got, got some dudes. They're just not us. Um, and we can find holes in that Tampa Bay defense. Oh, yeah. But San Francisco, for they whatever cannot, reason, they are they are my thirty one team. Ooh, and, and, I, and I would tell you this: they were bad. That's probably out of spite that I have just the Raiders at. I mean, it, it's you know they I at least it. are are putting up a fight. Here yeah, lately, they did against the Chiefs, but that could just be a divisional game. And well, they had the last like three weeks. You know, it is what it is. Maybe. It is what it is. Uh, who so, you got for thirty? Who uh, who did you have? Oh, you got the 49ers thirty-one. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're there. We're, uh, there. we're there on the bottom. Number thirty. I got a brand new dog. This All one. right, Papa got a brand new bag. The Dead Skins. Oh, I moved the Red Whoa. Skins all the way to thirty because uh, Mark Sanchez ain't finna do nothing for this team, and I don't care who they bring in behind him. It could be Kaepernick. It could be anybody you bring off the couch. This ain't going to be a Buffalo Bills situation where they bring Matt Barkley in and, and he just lights up the league, right? What is it about USC quarterbacks that just fill the gap for garbage? <laughs> like Matt Barkley <laughs> sitting on the couch be like, eh, I mean, I can give you a couple innings, coach. Yeah, it, like Mark San- Sanchez San- sitting on the like, couch a few weeks hey, ago. Hey. I mean, yeah. they never turned out to be really good, but if you need them in like a pinch like this, then, then maybe they could work out. Uh, this one ain't going to work out. No, I'm, I'm with you. I'm this totally working out. And it's not just the quarterback situation. Like, they got injuries across the board. Redskins are number 30 for me. They are I, they are bad. I'm, I'm with you on that. I don't have them in my bottom five. But let me let me answer That's this. because the record still looks good, right? Well, no, so it's, no, like, it's yeah, strictly okay. not that. It's their defense. That defense, defense is still is, good. That defense is actually really good. Yeah, but they did, um, they did give up 28 points to the Eagles. That's okay. I mean, yeah, their offense just doesn't help you with that. Yeah. So, your point about Mark Sanchez. Last night I tweeted out something that I think the entire country could get involved with. Any time that Mark Sanchez comes into a game, and it's a primetime game, it's the only game on, when that happens, if he comes in and there's like nine minutes left in the third quarter, I think you should be, con- if I took over, in the last podcast talked about having a coup and taking Fidel's <laughs> job, if, if I took over the NFL, right. I would immediately turn that game off and turn on like the 2014 uh, Super Bowl from whatever time that like, if there's nine minutes left in the third quarter, we're, we're starting nine minutes left in the third quarter of the 2014 Super Bowl, and boom, that's it. That's that's the game you get. And everybody at home's like, oh, all right, yeah. I know how this one ends, but this is going to be fun. Yeah, this I, will I'm be a, good. I'm in. I'm in. Let's do that. Okay, I could get down with it. I think that's a plan. I like the idea. I think I'm, saving, I'm saving ESPN. I do man. like the idea. I'm saving everybody. I, anyway, I, I'm a big fan of that. My I number like 30, <laughs> I, I kind of want to say it, but I'm, I'm trying to watch my mouth a little bit. The damn Jets, though, man. What? Yeah, I, I don't even have the Jets in here. Um, oh, oh. That, because they, they I, we almost we almost argue. It doesn't matter, man. That team. I mean, it, look, the Titans bad. tried really hard to say, please win this game. Please. Yeah. We want like a bottom five pick. We need a draft. Please. You're not going to take it. Hell, I guess All I'll right, take cool. it. Marcus Mariota. Just, the, the GD Jets. They yeah. are just putrid. Who, uh, who you got at 29? 29, I got the Cardinals. I got the Cardinals at 29 as well. Um, and you know what? My, not, my, my look, third, they, they my, beat Green Bay. At Lambeau. At Lambeau. But does it give you any kind of hope for Arizona? Yeah, I, I think they're going in the right direction. I th- no, I agree with that. that. That is a team at least with some fight in them. 
I mean, if yeah, you I told me that. if I took the Cardinals completely out of my bottom five and replaced them with the Redskins, that I would, I would, I would think that's okay. I wouldn't be upset about that. You got a twenty-eight. The Green Bay Packers. Oh my! Aaron Rodgers can e a d. You just got yo butt whipped by the Arizona Cardinals. You are no good at football. You just looking all pouty, all sad, all mopey. This is supposed to be the five. Where it, because if you're going to have Green Bay in this, you got to have the Cardinals ahead of them. Well, I, I know. I thought about having them ahead of them. That, it, so the Packers do not belong in the bottom five. They had a bad game. It is what it is. But they had a bad game. They've only got four wins, Gary. Here is my number 28. Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals are bad. Hang on. That's a bad football Hang team right now. Nobody with four wins at this point in the season can say they just had a bad game. That's why they lost. All right. They now, you had a you whole bunch of bad right. games. You might be right that the Bengals are worse than than – than the Packers, but but I'm, gonna I'm tell you, but I'm gonna tell you this. Now, oh, whatever. But Aaron, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, hang on. The Bengals have massive injury problems. Best receiver out. Best tight end out. Quarterback out. They got all kinds of issues. Green Bay, they got no injury problems. They just suck. Yeah, I know you're right. A. a- Ron, no good. And guess what? You gonna replace him with Joe Fieldman? I thought that guy died. Yeah, I, I actually was he still alive? I mean, I knew he was. Still I didn't alive. know he was on the staff. I, I had no idea that he was on the staff. I had no. Clue. There's nobody else you can promote up. But that's that's who you're going to promote. Yeah, you got me. That's who gets the job. It's... Congratulations, Aaron. <laughs> Mike McCarthy was such a bad coach. Let's see how good you do without him. Yeah. Good luck. Let's move into our top five real quick. Uh, number one, we both got the Rams. We both got the Rams. Number two, we got the Saints. We both have the Saints. Okay. All right. So that, that's what I, right, you got. The Chiefs three. Chiefs. Chiefs three. Yes, sir. We're following chalk. Patriots four. I do have the Patriots for. All right, all right. So we're we're following pretty, the same thing. Pretty easily four too. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. And I think we got the same five. Chargers. If we don't have the Chargers, you're just wrong. <laughs> you're just wrong. <laughs> let let me tell you what I like about the NFL, and and I'm gonna get a little bit of a soapbox for for what I don't like about college. And by the way, we we don't share this information with each other. Before no, we, we get we in literally here. didn't. Yeah, no. But, so, yeah. but but we had the same top five, and that should let you know what it feels like right now. I don't. I like that in the NFL, like the. The Patriots have three. Like, if this was a BCS committee or not a BCS, a college football committee, and you had like thirteen random people that are supposed to know about sports, but really they don't know shit about sports, um, sitting around talking about it, they would look at like the Patriots and be like, mm, "Well, they lost to Jacksonville and they got beat by by the Lions." I don't know. I don't know. like in the NFL. It's one of those things where you they, they do a power ranking. It's like, oh, they got a loss. Yeah, that's a that's fine. That's fine. They didn't show up that day. They're still one of the best teams in football, and you move on. Yeah. In college, oh no, you murder them. No, you you absolutely kill that team. Washington State right now, two losses. One, I'm on a little bit of soapbox. I know it's the NFL top five, bottom five, but I won't have another opportunity to have have this argument. One loss to a complete sham of a game against USC. Yeah. One loss in a blizzard. They're barely in the top twenty five. Well, they're number thirteen. That's bull. That's uh, absolute. But it's outside of the New Year's six. Shit. Like they they got tossed into the Alamo Bowl. That's absolute. And bullshit. they should have been in the New Year's six. So, anyway, move on. Sorry, yeah, my soapbox. The NFL people caught my college football wrath. Hey, you know what's interesting though? Had they moved up, the spot that they would have taken would have been your LSU Tigers. I'm fine with that. I'm I'm not upset like that. I'm not that much of a homer where I think that's not right. Their two losses are complete shams. The LSU's two losses. The loss to Florida is unforgivable. Yeah, we threw pick six after pick six, and we got dominated in the trenches the entire game. You don't deserve to win that game. You got beat up. Nobody physically just beat them up. They went into a blizzard where their offense died. That just that's just part of it. it sucks. You play yeah. in the north. You have an offense that doesn't do well there, and you got a game stolen from you from the Pac-12 officials. Your only two losses are that. That's bull. That's our NFL top five, bottom five. <laughs> <laughs>